Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a learning program in Skillsoft. In part one of the program we'll cover setting up a new learning program and in part two which will be a separate video I'll show you how to enroll employees into the learning program and schedule their courses. Here we see the main e learning page where we enter a net ID and password. Let's go ahead and enter the net ID and the password and continue to move forward. Click log in and my net ID and password have been accepted and we can click enter here to move to the next page. Okay, now we're at the main UT learning page. This page should look familiar to you if you're a regular Skillsoft user. To begin the process of creating the learning pr program, we have to enter as an administrator, click on admin, and now we're getting down to business. This screen asks us what do you want to do. We want to create a learning program, so we'll click here. And now we have a box opened up that asks us to type in a name. For this example, let's use Facilities Group 7. In this box, we can add a short description of the learning program. Since Facilities Group 7 is the rapid response team, let's type that in and click Save. Okay, at this point we have the learning program created sitting here on the right side of the screen and the course catalog is here on the left. The next step is to add courses to the Facilities Group 7 learning plan. So let's start by clicking Course Curricula. Next we're going to click English. Scroll down to Environmental Safety and Health and Transportation Curricula, click it. Click EHS again, click Safety and Health. Now we have all the available EHS courses to pick from. This is a good point to grab your user training group sheet cheat sheet to identify the courses which need to be assigned to group 7 of which there are six. The first course is hazard communication. So let's scroll down until we find hazard communication. There it is. Click on that. It will highlight the course enabling us to then click the green arrow button to add it to the learning program. So now hazard communication has been entered under the learning program called Facilities Group 7. Let's go ahead and add the other six courses. And last but not least, fire safety. Now we've added all six. If we're good to go, we can go down and click save. And we'll get a message saying that we've successfully saved the learning program called Facilities Group 7. That does it for this tutorial in part two of the series. We'll review how to add individuals to a learning program and to use how to use Skillsoft features to schedule 
and remind students to complete their assigned training program. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you the next time.